VO3 Complete Tutorial, Project Start to Finish. I recently created a sci-fi movie trailer using Google's VO3 AI video generation model. And in this video, I want to show you how I made it step by step so that you can learn from my experience. First, let's watch the trailer. come from every corner of the galaxy. Champions chosen to represent their worlds. The fiercest warriors ever known. All gathered for one purpose. To fight. Until only one remains. Gladiators will give everything they have. Because the fate of their worlds depends on it. What are you called and where do you hail from, warrior? Um. Frank from Jersey. Frank from Planet Jersey, it's time to fight. He's Earth's last hope. We're so screwed. Frank versus the galaxy. No powers, no weapons, no clue. Coming soon. So did you like Frank versus the galaxy? I sure had a lot of fun making it. Here's what I did. First, I wrote a one-minute movie trailer script. It's mainly voiceover, but as you saw, there's a section where two AI characters speak to each other. Luckily, VO3 can pull off dialogue. After the script was written, I created a shot list for every part of the trailer. And because VO3 turns text prompts into videos, I then created a text prompt for each one of the shots on my list. Let me show you each text prompt and then what VO3 generated for me from these prompts. And in case you don't know, to use VO3, go to labs.google forward slash fx forward slash tools forward slash flow. Then click sign in with Google. Create an account if you don't have one. I have one. So we are in flow and you'll see my project. I'll click New Project. Then I can choose from Text to Video, Frames to Video, or Ingredients to Video. For this tutorial, I'll just be using Text to Video. Then I'll click Settings and change Outputs per Prompt to 1 and Model to VO3 for the best results. Then I'll type in my first prompt. Then I'll click the right arrow button to generate a video from my prompt. When the video is done rendering, you can watch it and then download it to your computer by clicking in the upper right hand corner of the player and then clicking the down arrow. I usually just download original size because the 1080p version doesn't look much better in my opinion. In fact, the files that VO3 outputs are tiny.mp4 files. They look fine when your generated shots don't have a lot going on in them, but when there's a lot of action, they look pretty compressed to me. I hope that in the future we get higher resolution outputs and less compression. This is my first prompt, prompt 1. In a medium shot, the camera follows a muscular alien warrior with glowing eyes, walking towards the camera with an evil grin. This alien has tribal tattoos all over his body. He is dressed in old battle armor that has spikes on it. He's in a desert landscape surrounded by red rock mountains. The setting sun casts long dramatic shadows. The camera tilts down to reveal that our alien is dragging the body of a fallen lifeless warrior that he has killed in battle. Cinematic film style. Now let's see what that produced. I really liked how this VO3 render came out. I probably should have given more direction about the desert landscape to make it look a little more alien, like perhaps two suns or something like that. But the details on the main alien are great. Check out the tribal tattoos, the muscles, the battle armor, and his very scary face. Well done, VO3. Prompt 2. We are in the cockpit of an alien fighter spacecraft, speeding through hyperspace. Stars fly by blurry, through the cockpit window. 
the alien fighter pilot wears an oxygen mask, helmet, and goggles. But his back is to us as he flies the ship. His clothing is dark, and there's not a ton of light in the spacecraft, although buttons and switches are lit. The spacecraft suddenly slows down, revealing hundreds of other spacecraft, all orbiting around a giant planet with a beautiful ring around it. The lighting is dramatic, cinematic film style. This one came out pretty well and really matched my prompt. I love the ring around the planet and all of the alien ships. Prompt 3. We are in an alien city at night. As alien ships land in the background, our main focus is on a muscular alien warrior who steps out of the back of his spaceship and onto a landing platform. He wears a dark cloak which hides most of his muscular body. He lowers his cloak hood, revealing that his pale face is scarred. His eyes glow as he gives an evil grin as he walks towards the camera. He carries a bag full of alien weapons. The lighting is dramatic and shadowy, cinematic film style. I like how the alien turned out. He's pretty cool looking. I also like the dramatic lighting and the cityscape. I feel like VO3 ignored my idea of having him come out of the back of a spaceship and some of my other little details. It's also weird that he turns around at the end, but luckily I don't need that long of a shot. Prompt 4 We are in an alien city at night. The lighting from the city and all of its buildings is dramatic with lots of neon colors and signs that are in an alien language. A huge crowd of aliens gather behind barricades on the street as they cheer for a group of 20 muscular alien warriors of all different species, muted colors, and sizes walking through the middle of the street. A spotlight illuminates the warriors. They look tough, scary, and proud. They are in battle clothing, like cloaks and armor and carry a variety of weapons, including swords, axes, and clubs. The camera is wide and high at first, but slowly moves closer to the warriors as they walk into an arena, cinematic film style. VO3 turned this into two shots, which was unexpected because I was just doing one camera move. But I used it as two shots in the trailer and it worked great. I love the glow of the neon lights and the variety of the alien warriors. The artwork on the stadium walls is also very cool. Prompt 5. We are in an alien arena at night. There's a huge alien crowd gathered to watch a fight in the ring at the center of the arena. Two alien warriors face each other. They are angry and steering each other down. Both of these aliens are muscular. One has reptile skin and big stink-like eyes. He's huge and holds a spiked club weapon. The other alien is female. She has red skin. She's very beautiful. She holds two deadly ultra-sharp knives. The scene is lit dramatically with a spotlight on the ring casting shadows. Cinematic film style. This shot starts out weird. It's like the female alien warrior comes out of nowhere. But once it gets going, I think it's really good. The spotlight in the middle of the shot is very dramatic. Prompt 6. We're in an outdoor alien arena, with cheering alien fans watching a battle between two muscular alien warriors. One alien warrior looks like he's evolved from a rhino because he has a horn on his face. The other alien warrior looks like he evolved from a grasshopper. The rhino alien picks up the grasshopper alien and performs the famous wrestling move, the pile driver. A move where an opponent is inverted and slammed head first onto the mat, slamming the grasshopper alien's head into the battle ring's floor. The grasshopper-like alien is badly injured as the rhino alien triumphantly raises his arms into the air and screams, with rage. 
No music, no subtitles or captions. Cinematic film style. VO3 broke this shot up into two angles. I didn't use the wide shot, but the part at the end where the victor screams is pretty cool. Prompt 7. We are inside a volcano arena at night on an alien world as a giant crowd watches a battle between two alien warriors in the ring. In the background are streams of glowing hot lava. Alien warrior number one is a beautiful and muscular female with dark gray skin and long hair. Alien number two is dark green and has bumpy rough skin. He is big, scary, and very muscular. These two warriors fight each other ferociously until alien number two tosses wounded alien number one into a pit of hot lava. The lighting is very dramatic with lots of strong shadows. Cinematic film style. I thought that this render came out pretty well. I love the hot flowing lava. The weirdest part was when the victor tosses himself and the female alien into the lava pit. Probably not smart to jump into lava, but I got out of the shot pretty quickly in the trailer and I think it works. Prompt 8. Two alien warriors battle deep in the water in an aquarium style battle arena. The alien spectator fans cheer behind a giant wall of clear glass and can breathe air while watching two alien warriors fight underwater. One alien warrior looks like he has evolved from a shark. He has gills and is extremely muscular. The other alien warrior is a beautiful reptile-like female alien. She has a harpoon-style weapon and a breathing mask. The battle between these two warriors is intense. At the end of the fight, a shark alien rips off the female alien's mask, cinematic film style. The underwater scene turned out well in my opinion. I think that VO3 did a good job of understanding what I wanted as far as the underwater arena goes. It didn't do great with drowning the female at the end, but I don't know, maybe it's not allowed to show something like that? I'm not sure. Prompt 9. The camera's looking down from above in a wide shot at two aliens battling in a pit at night with spotlights shining down on them. One alien is very muscular and wears Asian-style samurai armor and swings a fire sword at his opponent. He looks like he's evolved from lizard-like ancestors. He has fiery eyes. His opponent is an alien that has the ability to shoot sharp ice projectiles from his hands. He's wearing a white ninja-like outfit. The battle is intense. A huge crowd of spectators cheer from above the battle pit. The lighting is very dramatic, cinematic film style. As I prompted this stuff, I realized that I sounded pretty silly describing what I wanted, but that's what you gotta do. And this is one of my favorite renders. The sound effects are great, the spotlights are really dramatic, and the fire sword came out great in my opinion. The sparks are another great touch. Prompt 10. The camera jibs down from a high angle to the main characters on their level. It's night in an ancient alien arena full of cheering alien fans looking at an alien ring announcer standing next to a human named Frank standing in the center of a battle ring. The lighting is dramatic and shadowy. Ancient alien symbols decorate the arena's walls. The alien ring announcer is short, green, and has a large head and big eyes. The alien wears a futuristic looking black suit with a bow tie. The human man named Frank is skinny and has a thin mustache. Frank is 24 years old and he wears a black unzipped hoodie sweatshirt, a white t-shirt with a black skull on it, and gym shorts and sneakers. He seems kind of confused. The alien ring announcer says, What are you called and where do you hail from, warrior? Frank awkwardly responds, 
um, Frank from Jersey? The alien ring announcer looks out at the excited alien crowd and says, Frank from Planet Jersey, it's time to fight. No subtitles, no captions, no music, cinematic film style. What are you called and where do you hail from, warrior? Um, Frank from Jersey. Frank from Planet Jersey, it's time to fight. This was a tricky one to describe and pull off. I wish that Frank turned out a little more real looking. I'm okay with the alien looking a bit like a cartoon, but I was hoping Frank would look more lifelike. He also has a strange accent, which is a little weird. I do love the tilt down reveal at the start of the shot, and I also like Frank's frightened look at the end of the shot. Prompt 11. It's night in an alien arena full of cheering alien fans. The lighting is dramatic and shadowy. Ancient alien symbols decorate the arena's walls. An enormous, very muscular, scary-looking alien with six arms walks through the alien crowd towards the battle ring. The six-armed alien has tribal tattoos all over his body. His eyes glow and he wears battle armor with spikes on it. He also has scars on his face. He's sweaty and terrifying. He holds sharp knives in his six hands. The alien crowd adores him. The camera moves close to his face as he sinisterly smiles, revealing super sharp teeth as he walks. Cinematic film style. I was also really pleased with this shot as well. The arena looks the same as the previous shot, which is perfect for selling that this shot and the prior one are connected. The alien's face at the end of the shot and his sound effects are perfect in my opinion. Very scary. After I generated all of my shots for the movie trailer using VO3, I went to artlist.io on the web and generated an AI voiceover downloaded an Adobe After Effects template for my text graphics, and downloaded a cool music cut for the trailer. I have a paid subscription for Artlist, and I really like it. They have a lot of cool stuff that you can license. Then, I opened Adobe Premiere Pro and put all of the elements together. I'd say the entire trailer took about two days to make. VO3 is fun to use, and I think it's going to keep getting better. But I leave you now with a few renders that I didn't use, and I think you'll understand why after watching them. What are you called, and where do you hail from, warrior? Um, Frank from Jersey. Frank from Planet Jersey, it's time to fight. I think there's been a mistake. I look forward to seeing what you make with VO3. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.